What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we're going to be doing some mods on the F350. It's been a while since we did some proper mods on her and I got a bunch of them from Riff Raff. So uh, let's see what we got and we're going to start right now. Those of you that remember we picked up a bunch of stuff from Riff Raff. We got some boots, we got some clamps, we got some uh, different type bolts, we got the banjo bolts, other bolts, o-rings, we got the exhaust valve delete, the pedestal delete, uh, braided lines and all this good stuff and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start installing all this stuff. It's gonna take a few episodes to do all this stuff so we're gonna do it in kind of steps and uh, this truck is gonna be much better than it was before even though before it was already a good truck. Even some of these mods can be installed without removing all of the things I'll be removing but in my case, because I'm going to be installing the pedestal delete, which is obviously under the turbo, I'm going to have to remove all of this stuff. And because I had the leak, the, the diesel leak, and I was uh, fix, I fixed the leak now, uh, I want to get down there again once again and clean all that up and make sure it's all nice and clean. And since I have all these O-rings for the fuel bowl and then O-rings for the high pressure oil pump, I'm going to be uh, replacing all this stuff to, to make sure there's not going to have any more leaks in the future. All right, so let's get to work and start removing all this stuff. Let's go. Alright guys, so here's what we got so far. Now, what I'm doing, you don't have to do all of this. For example, to remove the harness, you don't have to remove the harness. I'm just doing it because I want to clean the valley. Because I did had, I did have a, a diesel fuel leak in there. So, we got that fixed with the valve right here. So, I want to get down and clean all that up. And it makes it a little bit easier. It's not that hard to unplug all the the connectors and then just remove the the harness to the passenger side it kind of loops around and by the way the spider right here on the bottom where it connects to the plenums it was leaking quite a bit over here and uh, it's because uh, when I was tightening these clamps it was kind of sliding off because there's no lip on the spider here there's no lip right here and basically the tighter you get it the more it squishes out and on these boots since they're pretty old, they already have a groove right here. So I, even though I was trying to move the clamp up higher, it was still sliding into the groove. So, and so after I installed the new boots and the new clamps, this thing is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to leak. And I'm also going to be removing the fuel bowl and the high pressure oil pump as well, because I'm going to be changing the O-rings on that. So there's not going to be any uh, future leaks anytime soon. So I'm going to be replacing all that. Uh, but right now what I'm trying to do is to get to the, the pedestal and then uh, remove the turbo, remove the pedestal, delete all that. It's going to be a perfect 7.3. That's when I'll feel kind of, I guess, that's when I'll feel safe or happy about doing a tuner. But every little thing uh, improves the 7.3. And so that's why I'm kind of doing all of this stuff before I'm doing a tune on it. I want to pretty much make it as reliable as possible, as smooth as possible, to last a really long time, and then I'm going to do a tuner. So now let's go ahead and get to the turbo, remove all that, remove the housing, remove the pedestal, and then I'm going to, before I do that, I'm going to remove the oil crossover line. If you guys have that installed on your truck, 
obviously it's in the way so it's better to remove that and then you're going to be able to remove the turbo because that sucker is going to be a little bit heavy and you don't want to damage the uh, the oil crossover line and also since we're going to be uh, removing the fuel bowl I'm going to disconnect all the FRX lines from riffraff I'm, re I'm going to pretty much remove as much of as much of this stuff in the front as I can right now because there's going to be oil and diesel coming out of these lines so before I do any kind of cleaning I'm going to remove all this stuff because I don't want to deal with it later all right so let's go ahead and remove some more of this stuff and get the turbo and pedestal out all right let's go So you simply just remove the clamp from the downpipe, remove the two bolts right here holding the turbo to the pedestal, loosen the back clamp from the up pipes, and then simply remove the turbo. And this is how you get access to the pedestal. Simple. And then simply remove the turbo. All right, so anyways, enough of those shenanigans. Uh, basically, that was a pain in the butt to get that turbo out, and it was a pain in the butt to disconnect this clamp. It was holding on the bottom here. Turbo to the down to the up pipes was holding really tightly over here. Even though I got these separated uh, on the sides, the bottom was still kind of holding it. But now that that's disconnected and removed. Now we have easy access to the pedestal. We're gonna remove that and then uh, put in the new pedestal and see how it sits. And now that I got the pedestal off, here's what it looks like next to the stock pedestal. Obviously those that you guys know, this is the actuator, the actuator that opens the flap right here inside the exhaust back pressure housing that's the valve right there and this is the blank one that I'm going to be replacing it with and because this will not have the actuator I'm going to need this little guy right here which basically replaces this and that plugs in to your existing harness and basically it's like a pigtail probably some kind of resistor of some sort the, so the truck doesn't throw an engine light. These are the old rings that were on the truck. The yellow ones were on the bottom of the block and then there's two uh, brown ones right here. That's where the turbo sits and for the new pedestal I got these rings right here, these old rings. I'm gonna have two for the block and two for the top here and then I also picked up uh, four bolts, four new bolts from riffraff as well. So basically all this stuff is going to go in the garbage and we're going to be replacing it with this one and we're going to swap this uh, flap with the flap delete. And it's going to breathe a lot easier, it's not going to be messy because this is known to always leak and we're going to clean all that up and that's going to be nice, clean and flow a lot better. Alright, so let's go ahead and swap this blank housing 
and then put it in the pedestal and see how she looks. <music> And that's how the pedestal is gonna sit. It's gonna be nice and clean, no more leaks. And I wanna clean up this whole area. Obviously, I didn't uh, put the O-rings down under the pedestal. I didn't put the O-rings on top, obviously, because I don't want them to get dirty right now, because I still wanna be cleaning uh, all this stuff. So the turbo is ready, pedestal is almost ready. And like I said earlier, I wanna remove uh, the fuel bowl and the high pressure oil pump underneath. That's gonna cause a mess right here. So that's why I'm not really clean right now, but for now that's how the pedestal goes in. So yeah, from this point on you pretty much reverse the process and you're done. In my case I got quite a few more things to go, so I got a long road ahead of me. And now that the pedestal is kind of in place temporary, we got this uh, replaced with the exhaust back pressure valve delete, this little housing. Replace the bolts, we got uh, seven bolts on here. Uh, new ones on here and then since I bought three packs I changed these bolts as well there's five on here seven on here so we've got 12 total so I bought three packs three packs would be enough to do uh, this side and that side and you're gonna have maybe three or four left the bolts on this side you need seven and one pack I believe holds six since you and you so you're gonna have to buy two packs regardless and you're gonna have leftovers, so might as well do three packs and replace these and those, but that's up to you. So guys, I hope you're enjoying all these upgrades from Riff Rap. I got all of the links in the description down below, so check them out, see what you need. If you got any questions, let me know. If you're new, please subscribe. If you got a 7.3, obviously subscribe for sure. And then I got a playlist of all the mods that I've been doing on this truck, so if, feel free to check that out. Follow me on Instagram, Fix and Nick, to get more updates before they get to YouTube. And we'll see you on the next one.